Here at UC Berkeley, we're passionate about taking care of the planet that keeps us all alive. That's why we have goals like zero waste. Our plan is to divert 90% of what can be composted or recycled, which is now entirely possible that we've got these waste sorting stations all around campus. Reaching the goal of zero waste is now entirely dependent on everyone getting involved. So, what goes into the compost? Anything that can decompose and go back into the soil, so absolutely no plastic or other trash. So banana peel? Paper towels and napkins? Most paper cups and paper plates are actually lined with plastic, but these greenware cups are specially designed to be compostable. Recycling can seem complicated, but it's actually really simple. What we put in this bin are cans, plastic bottles, and glass bottles. And what we put in this bin is clean, dry paper and cardboard. And that's it. It's important to keep those two streams separate because if any liquids get the paper wet, the paper can't be recycled. Everything else gets sent to landfills. Boba cups, plastic cutlery, flimsy plastic, all of it. Wait, hold up. I thought a lot of that was recyclable. I know, but the truth is, we just don't have the technology or the infrastructure to recycle many of the material waste we create. That's why we emphasize reusing and refusing over recycling. So what kind of changes should I make? Well, there are a lot of easy changes you can make. If you bring your own reusable coffee cup into any pizza on campus, you'll get 50 cents off every drink and every fifth cup free. I keep reusable utensils in my backpack, and I switch to a reusable water bottle and metal boba straw. Wow, it's that easy? It's that easy. Each sustainable step you take goes a long way. That's the Zero Waste Initiative.